I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to my third game of Jeopardy on the PlayStation, in which so far I have accumulated $32,400 in just two games, averaging $16,200 per win. Will that streak continue this game? We'll find out as I try to add on to that $32,000 plus. Here it goes. Furniture. Okay. New geography. Film epics. Animal groups. Required reading. International politics. Okay. Player one, let's get started. Let's look over the categories one more time. I'll start with animal groups for 100. A shrewdness of these large primates may be full of chimps or gorillas. Player one. What are monkeys? No? Large primates, maybe full of chimps or gorillas. Okay. Oh, okay, let's try what are... It's not monkeys. What are apes? Exactly. There we go. You're off to a great start. Animal groups, 200, please. All right, pick again. Nevermore will we mention that a group of these birds is an unkindness. What are ravens? Not Ravi. Not Ra Ravel. Ravens. Why, yes. Uh, animal groups of three, please. All right, pick again. You'll hear many peeps out of a peep of these. Player one. You'll hear many peeps out of a peep of these. Uh, what are, uh... What are chickens? That's correct. Yeah! All right, pick again. We'll go animal groups of 400. Answer. Oh, daily double. Let's go all in, why not? When someone wishes you good these at Christmas, they may be referring to a group of magpies. What are tidings? Player one. You are correct. Booyah! Let's go with the animal group for primary, please. Gather a group of these animals in Wisconsin, and you'll have a seat. What are badgers? Got me. That's it. Here we go. All right, pick again. Ran the category. Okay, let's try Strength of Epics for 100. Warren Beatty portrayed John Reed, author of Ten Days That Shook the World, in this 1981 epic. One. What is Reds? charges into battle as Scottish Avenger William Wallace in this 1995 epic. Player one. What is Braveheart? That's correct. Film epics for 300. Right, pick again. Cecil B. DeMille directed this biblical epic twice. Once as a silent, the other in 1956 as a talkie. One. What is the Ten Commandments? Correct. I'll take uh, the Levix for 400. Right, pick again. David Lean's sweeping saga of this British adventurer was reissued in 1989 with previously unseen footage. Player one. What is, who is Lawrence of Arabia? Exactly. Yes. All right. Film epics for 500, please. In a 1961 film, Charlton Heston portrayed this legendary Spanish hero. Player one. Legendary Spanish hero. Okay, um, I have it between two. I'll try it with El Cid. Yes. Oh, yeah! All right, pick again. Furniture 100. One may be dining, Parsons, or drawing. What is a table? Right. 
Uh, let's have furniture for two. All right, pick again. A low seat with no back and three or four legs. One in a bar is usually taller. What is a stool? That's right. We'll go with uh, furniture for 300. All right, pick again. This piece of hall furniture is specifically for holding bumper shoes. What is an umbrella stand? That's it. Furniture 400. Pick again. In this process of distressing new furniture to look old, birdshot may be used to create wormhole. What is antiquing? Exactly. I'll have a uh, furniture for 500. All right, pick again. It's the French equivalent of a whatnot. Player three. An étagère? Why, yes. All right, player three. Now it's New Geography 100. All right. St. John's, the capital of this Canadian province, lies on the Avalon Peninsula. What is Newfoundland? Player one. More like it. Player one, it's your turn. I'll take New Geography for 200. The Llano Estacado, or State Plain, covers parts of Texas and this state. What is New Mexico? That's it. I'd like New Geography for 300, right, please. What is New Delhi? Exactly. Good. New okay. job for 400. It's the largest tropical island in the world. What is New Guinea? First place all by yourself. New Geography for 500. All right, pick again. The University of this Australian state is located in Kensington, a suburb of Sydney. What is New South Wales? To be sure. International politics for 100. Right, pick again. December 1993, the Catholic Church agreed to establish diplomatic ties with this state, founded in 1948. What is Israel? That's it, exactly. International politics, 200. Pick again. In December 1994, Russia sent 40,000 troops into this breakaway republic. What is Chechnya? I hope I spelled it right. That's correct. I did. Uh, International Public Security, right, please. In March 1995, she was removed from her South African cabinet post by her estranged husband. Who is uh, Winnie Mandela? Well, that's the 400, please. The British cabinet meets with the prime minister at number 10 on this street. What is Downing? That's it, exactly. International politics 500. Right, pick again. Named for a European peninsula, it's the process of one country separating into hostile units. What is balkanization? Anyone? You are correct. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Required reading 100. This Jonathan 
swift sailor makes four fantastic voyages. Player one. Uh, who is Gulliver? Why, yeah. 200. All right, pick again. One book calls it the classic novel about a scientific experiment to create a man-made human. Player one. What is Frankenstein?
Yes, indeed. Okay. You're in first place all by yourself. Crawford clues A to 400. All right, pick again. Guinevere's groom, six letters. Who is Arthur? One. Yes. Okay. Crawford clues A for 600. Gourmet's garment, five letters. One. What is an apron? Yes. Crossword clues A for 800. All right, pick again. Oak offspring, five letters. What is an acorn? There one. Right you are. Uh, let's have crossword clues A for 1,000. Right, pick again. Gorgeous gardener, three letters. Who was Ava? There one. Ava Gardner. Yes. All right. All right, pick again. Um, famous educators for 200. This black educator's own education was obtained at the Hampton Institute in Virginia, 1872 to 1875. There one. Who is Booker T. Washington? Correct. He's the one. All right. Famous educators for 400. This mass educator and legislator was known as the father of American public education. Ooh. There too. Man? I don't know. Exactly. Oh, man. Okay. All right. All right, contestant. Two. He's the one. How does it observe this for 200? Okay. We'll go there. Chrysanthemum brings Choya no Seku, our chrysanthemum day in this country. What is Japan? Go back. That's it. What will it be? Let me have holidays and observances for 400. On this date, Denmark's Rebuild Park holds the largest foreign celebration of American independence. What is July 4th? Everyone? That's right. Okay. Holidays and observances for 600. Answer. Daily double. Okay. Player one. I'll take all 11,800 and put it on the table. National Freedom Day, February 1st, celebrates the 13th Amendment, which abolished this. What is slavery? Player one. That's it. Yes. Uh, Holders and observances for 800. Ecuador and Venezuela observe the birth of this George Washington of South America, each July 24th. Anyone? Who is Simon Bolivar? That's it. Holders and observances for 1,000. It's also known as Battle of Puebla Day. Battle of Puebla Day. What is Cinco de Mayo? Oops. Yes. All right. All right, pick again. Famous educators for 600. In 1907, she opened her first children's house in a Rome slum. Rome slum. Uh, I'm gonna say who is uh, Maria Montessori. Whoops! No, go back. Go back. Hope that's right. That's it. Yes. Okay. Famous educators, 800. This former Secretary of Education chaired the National Endowment for the Humanities, 1981 to 1985. Oh, what was her name? There too. William Brock? No, I don't think so. No. Shirley Muldowney? Here's no, it wasn't Jay Bennett. William J. Bennett. All right. All right. Famous Here's educators, one thousand. Between eighteen thirty-six and eighteen fifty-seven, Truman and Smith, publishers of Cincinnati, issued six of his eclectic readers. Ooh, this one I don't know. There too. William H. McGuffey? 
That's correct. Okay. That takes you into second place. Player two. We have two categories left. What was Landmarks 200? Queen Lilio Kalani was once the organist at the Kauai Hau Church in this state capital. What is Honolulu? Go back. Yes. What is Landmarks 400? Okay, contestant one. The birthplace of this founder of the American Red Cross is now a museum in North Oxford, Massachusetts. Player one? Uh, who is Claire Barton? Yes, indeed. Right. All right. Oh, when is Lead March for 600, please? A church in Grafton, West Virginia is the Good. international shrine of this holiday, first observed May 10, 1908. Player one? What is Mother's Day? Yes, indeed. Good. Okay. When is Landmarks 800? A life-size statue of this heroine of the Battle of Monmouth marks her grave in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Player three. Molly Pitcher, that's right. That's it, exactly. What will it be, player three? We have a few clues left. Weather for 200. This storm's name is derived from Spanish tronada, meaning thunderstorm. One. What is a tornado? That's right. Weather 400. Okay, contestant one. Atmospheric pressure reaches its lowest point in this less cloudy central region of a hurricane. What is the eye? Yes, indeed. Weather for 600? All right, pick again. The most severe of these dry spells in the 20th century affected Africa's Sahel region. What is a drought? Or what are droughts, I should say? What is a drought? Exactly. Weather for 800? All right, pick again. The aneroid type of this instrument measures the effect of air pressure on a metal chamber. What is a barometer? Yes, indeed. Weather 1000. All right, pick again. A buran is the Russian equivalent of this North American storm characterized by blowing snow. What's a blizzard? Player one. Exactly. Now last clue. And to finish the board, a building named for this black abolitionist stands on the site of her famous 1851 speech in Akron. Player one. I'm going to say it was Harriet Tubman. I'll be deeply surprised if she's not it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not? Anybody? Player two? Oh, Sojourner Truth. That's right. Yes. That's the end of no Jeopardy. No biggie. Let's take a look at so I have $29,200, player 2 is $1,700, player 3 $1,300. So it's a lock game. I cannot be caught. Nobody can catch me. This is a little anticlimactic, I know, but here goes. Take a look at the category for Final Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy category is... Holidays and Observances. All right. Player three, we have your... For winner. some reason or another, I feel good about this category. Player two, your wager, please. So I'm putting all my money on the table. Player one, please make your wager. All right, here's the answer. Good luck. In 1789, it became the first U.S. holiday designated by presidential proclamation.
Thanksgiving Day, that's right, yeah. So I'm gonna go for it. Hurry. So I have a three-game winning total of $90,800. I'm 9200 away from breaking $100,000. We'll see if I break that total in that fourth game soon. Congratulations, player one. You're the Jeopardy champion. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody.